But th the mission. I'm part of the squad too. Then following orders shouldn't be a problem. Omega and Hunter Omega happily return to Ord Mantle with the rest of the Bad Batch, eating Mantle mix while riding on Wrecker's shoulders. As they made their way back to Sid's, Tech announced that they should try to lay low since Omega had two bounty hunters after her. She offered some of the snacks to Echo while Hunter whispered to Wrecker that he thought Omega needed a break after what she had been through. Speaking with Sid, the group was offered a job to help rescue Senator Avi Singh from Imperial Prison on his planet, Raxus Secundus. Hunter refused the job, saying they would not help a former separatist, but his main rationale was that he did not want to endanger Omega's safety on an Imperial-occupied planet. Hunter begrudgingly decided to accept the job and leave Omega behind with Sid. Omega was enthusiastic about their new mission, and was saddened when Hunter notified her that she would not be coming with them. Omega pleaded her case, saying that she was a part of the squad too, but Hunter told her that she was, and she should have no problem following orders. Omega groaned but complied, and as soon as the others departed on their mission, Sid put her to work cleaning her parlor. As Omega moped around the parlor, Sid eventually came over and, after telling her to stop dampening the mood in the parlor, asked her what was wrong. Omega told her that she was worried about her friends before stating that it was not fair that she couldn't go on the mission with them. Sid responded that life was not fair and that maybe if she wasn't so helpless she wouldn't have been left behind in her care. Omega was hurt by her words and stalked away. Later, Omega watched as Sid squared off against Ketch and Bolo in a game of Dejaric. Omega raised her opinion on what move Sid should play, and was promptly ignored, which allowed her opponents to capitalize. Sid groaned and asked Omega what move she should play now, and after she listened to her, pulled out the victory. Sid asked her how she knew what to do, and Omega responded by saying that she was good at strategy games. Sid asked if she was good enough to make her some money, offering her 30% of the cut, but Omega smirked and replied that she wanted 60. Eventually, the two faced several other opponents, winning games and drawing a large crowd of various aliens to the parlor to watch. By the time Hunter, Wrecker, Echo, and Tech returned with the rescued Senator Singh and his droid, Omega had made enough money to pay off the Batch's debt to Sid. Although Hunter was not happy that Omega drew so much attention to herself, he was pleased by her earnings and challenged her to a game, saying that if she won, she would not be left out of any other missions. Omega excitedly took her seat, and when Hunter asked her if she was ready for it, she confidently responded by asking him if he was ready to face her.